Okay, and first step when I am thinking that is this my car's battery bad, I go to I have to go to start this my car. This is like first thing, remember. First thing is that that when I am planning to check that is this my car's bad or good, I need key and I insert that in here and then I start to uh, start this my car. And so that I rotate that and then I check that is there any lights. Okay, there are lights, this is good signal. And then I need to insert my this gearbox in this neutral. And then I need to press this clutch if you have manual transmi transmission car clutch in on and in automatic transmission it's parking, parking position. Okay, and then, then I try to start this my car. Let's look what happens. I rotate in this start position. And then when we look in here, there's only one warning light. But nothing happens. And there is some key thing. Okay, and this is first signal and information that now we have some issue in our car's battery. Okay, but what to do if I am like trainee and I have no so much experience how I can how I can know and how I can test that this my car's battery is bad. Okay, for that purpose we need to go in this car's engine area, like engine bay area. And all, all cars, like even in this Nissan, there is this bonnet opening switch. And when I move that in here, bonnet opens. And then, and then we go to look this car engine area. Okay, and then when I am opening that bonnet, I need to insert my hand in here and move very little this opening switch. Then I need to pull out this that that way. Then I insert this super bar hook. For this first thing, thing was that I need to move that switch in here and at the same time lift up this car bonnet. And then there is the super bar, put this in here, and I insert that in this slot in here. And then we can look this my car battery and it is in there. Okay, and how I can know that in best way that is this my battery bad or good? Okay, there is one example trick that we need some another car where battery is okay. And where I can find car where is battery okay? One example is that my friend loans some battery to me or then I look in some other areas and yes, there is the quality car and let's go to look because if you have that kind of brand car put this in this symbol, they works normally always and I open this one and, and then we look in there inside and there is this battery. And now we need to take that battery away and I need to move that battery in this my car. This car, what is not starting. Okay, but before of that, always, even <coughs> that there is this most high quality car in the world, put engine and brand is there, I need to of course test that is this really workable, this battery. Because there is risk even this Toyota car, that this battery can be, can be bad within the possibility what is 0.01% or 0.01% that this battery is empty. And best way is to go start this car. Okay, and then I need only key, 
and there's my key, and then I go to start and look that how this engine starts. Okay, and engine is starting. Everything is fine, and I okay, good. And now, when this engine starts, next step is to take that battery out. And in Toyota cars, it is really easy because we need to only take that 10 millimeter nut away and in here there is similar 10 millimeter nut and then those cables are away and then then I need to also open this 10 millimeter and that 10 millimeter and then I can lift up this battery so easy when we have Toyota car remember and the idea is that I recommend to purchase Toyota car because then this battery replace is also very easy. Okay, even that there is no any issues in Toyota car, but we need now this battery, and I have already made so that I have took my old Toyota's battery away, and it is already in there. And there is actually, that one is old battery, and then there is one spare part battery from Honda CRV. It is so small. And then there is those high quality Duracell batteries also, but now I don't need those. Okay, but then there is battery and I need to insert that battery in here. Okay, and next I start to take those things out and then you will also see that what is difference between Toyota cars and then this Nissan car? That why this Nissan is more complex car? Okay, and I continue next. Okay, and then for that battery replace, I need some specific tools. And let's look in this my area. What I need? First, I need this uh, this small small. 10 mm socket. Look, this is small and the small size friends. And this is interesting thing that we need one zero like 10 mm socket what fits this Nissan's battery. And this is first tool and then we need this little bit longer bar uh, and this longer friends and bar and then then this 12 mm, 1, 2 mm socket. And look, they are different sides. And then I need also this smaller bar in this small socket and then 10 mm standard friends. Then one zero. Okay, and then then we can go to look this my battery. Here is my battery. And let's look at what I am planning to do first. The first thing is that I need to take these cables out. And for that job, I need this 10 millimeter, one 10 millimeter friends, and I insert that in first in this minus cable, and I open that in this direction. Look, this is opening direction. Start and this like start thing in here and movement is this direction in here from here in that way Okay, and then I need to open that it's like five to ten movements and then when this Cable start to move By hand and I move in that way and then I only lift up that in this way This was easy and then there is more complex thing. This plus plus cable. 
And there is now two cables in that model. And this is actually quite interesting. And I can open those, but the trick is that this bolt is like a little bit hidden. And it is like just in here behind this metallic bar. Look. It is quite bad to open. And that's I need this small friends for fits in just in there in that position. And this is this difficult part. Okay, and now this tool is there, and I need to search this my small tool, and this is like very stuck, stuck position. And I insert that in here, in that, and in this one position, it opens, and then this opening direction is in here, in this up to down, in that way, in that. In this way it is open now and then I move that in. this is like starting position start end and, and this rotates like in that way in here is start end and now I can open this bolt and this is this is difficult part because this metallic part is like it it is like it makes this possibility to open this nut very difficult because in normal cars this nut is really easy to rotate but like in here it is really bad but now when I have this small socket it's look like that and then a small tool I manage to open that and then I rotate that something like 10 pieces and again when this start to move look this cable I can lift that up and this is this can be quite tight and then I insert that in here and then I have next thing is that there is second bolt and in this style it must be in different sides in here and I need new tool and I need this tool what size is this? 1, 2, 12. It is this my socket and then of course I need also this very long bar. And this is bad thing because in normal home those car repair men and women they don't have this long bar. But this is the Nissan style and then I insert that in here in that way. I insert this my socket in there and then I open. Opening direction is in that way. This is like starting point. The start end. This is start end. And then I insert that in here like starting point. It is start and this is the direction. Look. And now it moves nicely. This bolt, bolt moves nicely, and then I can, I can start to rotate this way. And now I can use even my hand, and soon, soon this bolt is, bolt is maybe there is this. So it is not, and I can insert my hand in here. Look, but the space is quite limited, and it is of, of course dirty, and that's use clothes. All of these things are dirty, oily. And now I insert my hand, and now there is this small nut, and now I can rotate that using my finger, and this nut is in bad position bad position and then I try to lift up this nut. Okay now I manage to take this nut out. Okay there is this nut. Okay and then there is also this metallic plate put open so that I move a little bit this battery in that way I move that 
and then this plate plate opens. Okay, there is this plate. A plate looks like that. Okay, now this battery should be free. And then okay, and then I can lift that battery out. And lifting happens so that I insert my hands in the sides and I lift. Or then if there is this lifting hook, I can lift that in this way. And then remember, these batteries are heavy. They are heavy and, and there is also possibility that remember this risk that there is some bad this corrosion liquid, corrosion active liquid, this acid in the in outer area and that's use gloves and wash your hands. And then I lift this battery out. Okay. And now battery is there. Good. And it is heavy. And then I lift it, this battery to ground. And now I have in there those batteries. But, but one of those is bad, and then this the more, this white one in here, it should be okay. And then I lift that white one in there, and then remember, there is only trick. That we need to notice that this is minus, like red cable, minus. There is no any markings, but this is minus. And I need to lift this car battery, so here battery comes. But I need to check before that, that there is this minus logo here. We can see that there is minus and there is plus symbol. And this this must be now that lift that down in that way, and then I check that. Is there this my minus symbol? Yes, there. And then I insert that my minus cable. It fits. This is like... I, next I need to fasten also this nuts. And then I check that... that how which this my plus cable. And it fits just in there. There is not much, much space. And now it goes in there. And then I need to insert this metallic support plate also the position the position is there in that area and I take my I take my plate and there is this tennis plate a nut and this goes in that way in there look this interesting shape but it goes in that direction and then I take that and I insert that in down in this hole hole in there this is not so easy quite difficult and this this hole must go to that nut ok now Notice my plate went wrongly. Okay, not nice. And I take it out and I lift that again. And, may, and then I can, if this is really bad, I need to move that battery in here. A little bit outside in, in here. Then I try again. Okay, again. It's not easy. And remember, now it went. And remember always that we have to insert that locking plate because if this battery is loosened, it can generate electric fire, and then our cars. 
will be in scrap. And always check that this, your battery is tight. And then I take this nut and I insert that nut in there. Down. There is this area. Put this there. This is also a little bit difficult. Now I start to rotate. Just using my finger. Okay, now it moves, and then I need to keep keep this. And now I notice that. Sorry, that this is in wrong position. This is in wrong side, of course, because this is this. Now I take this my move away. And uh, this metallic plate is now in the wrong place. A nut away. Oh, a nut drops in there. But it is in there. Okay, I'm lucky because it is there. And now I can take that plate and, and I need to insert that in, maybe in this way. This is really, really difficult to install. Nissan man, Nissan man. Okay, and then, then battery must be in there. Of course. And I take this nut, nut in my hand. Nut is there, good. And then I need to move that my battery in right in this side. Because now there is hole. Look. Oh, and I need to take my plate again out and now I need to move that in here. Is this really so? Yes, now it's there. And now I can insert that plate in this direction. This is really difficult. Can't this be true? And now I have difficulties to insert the plate there. Nissan, Nissan, Nissan engineers, Nissan engineers. I'm, I'm. Can this be so difficult? Yes, it can. And then I check that it is really in those. There are so small holes. It is in there. Okay, now I know that this is Nissan style. And now it's there, good. And then I take my nut and I try to be more careful. Now I rotate this nut. And then I take my tool. And I take my this. 12 millimeter socket and I I fasten this my bolt look there is my tool and now this fastening is in other side this is like starting point end now I fasten and look I am using only one hand because there is risk that this bolt can be go broken. Now, when I check that is this enough tight, when and if this battery is stable and it don't move, then this fastening is enough, enough to go and moment. And then I need to, of course, fasten that nut and that nut. And I will do that next. Okay, and here is this my tool, 10 millimeter small socket, and I insert that in here. And now when I am, I am, I change in here this direction. Now this fastening happens so that it is in that position. Start, end. Start, end. And then I fasten. Then I fasten this my nut. And note only one hand. Because if we fasten that too much, 
too much, then this area can can damage. And then I check in my hand that is this cable enough tight it is. And then the second area again I insert my tool in here. And now this direction is start end. Start end bad position. And difficult to replace. Can I take a little bit better view? And here we have another view. And now I am. This is difficult, difficult place to fasten this knot. And note only one hand. Okay, and then, then I decided to fasten also these knots. They are enough tight carefully and this is 12 millimeter. Okay, good. And then I check that is this my battery okay. Okay, and now now this battery replace is almost ready. And final part is to test that is this my battery now capable capable to start this engine. Okay, and final part, this is my car's battery, bad or good, is to go start this engine. Because now I have in here this new Toyota's battery, what, what is okay, and there is then this my old battery, what was bad. And then I go to inside in my car. I go to check that how this my car is starting now. There's this my key. Key and I insert that in here and I insert that in start position. And let's hope that car, st car starts now. Everything looks good and then I rotate that. Okay, but I need to, of course. And this my car finally starts. Yes, Nissan works. Yeah, yes, yes, good, good. Oh, noticed. And N Nissan is working. And please note that I had some issues with this key controller. There is red light, but it finally starts. Okay. And that means that now I have good battery and everything is fine. Okay, and the key idea was that I have to replace batteries in some workable car to this my old car what was not parking. And in that way we can analyze that is my battery good or bad. And then let's go to look that battery. And then there is this bad battery. And remember always that it is lead and we need to re recycle that battery and we can actually do not ever dump this battery in normal trash or garbage because we need to then take this battery and we move and we carry this battery in some some car service station or some some re recycle center because there is this recycle logo and there is that no this lead this is like there is inside is metal that do not ever insert that in normal trash okay that kind of information and have a nice day to you